Welcome to our daily Forex market analysis and this is for trading on July the 9th, 2020. Just a quick disclaimer here before we get started. This is for educational purposes only. Trading is a risky business, so please be careful with your money. As usual, we'll start off by taking a look at our calendar first of all. Uh, so fairly quiet day in terms of um, uh, in terms of news here and coming up here we have some data out of um, Japan and then China as well CPI numbers at this point um, for Japan here if the data is worse than expected we're likely to see the yen drop which means the yen crosses would go up in that scenario but the CPI data here from China, if the number is positive, that would be good for Australian dollar and New Zealand dollar. And if it's not that positive, doesn't meet the expectations, um, it is likely to get ignored. So coming up tomorrow here on Thursday, uh, again, not a ton of, uh, data. However, we do have Eurogroup meetings and at this point, if there are any kind of concerning comments, that could have a negative impact on the Euro. But right now, um, we are seeing that US dollar is getting negative, negatively impacted. A lot of that has to do with the increase in number of the COVID cases in um, uh, in the US, they are going up every single day and there doesn't seem to be any sort of uh, fix uh, on the horizon. So as a result of that, we are seeing the US dollar weaken in relation to the other crosses. So at this point, as things stand, um, Euro is is doing okay in um, in respect to the US dollar. But if there is, if there are any kind of negative comments, so if we hear about uh, the Euro group um, or European countries not being able to come to an agreement or anything like that, that is going to be uh, negative for the Euro. For now though, everything looks good. Uh, unemployment claims here for the US, we are likely to see or expecting to see 1.3 million uh, people going back to work. And if the claims come in, uh, if they are not, um, if they don't, they, if they come in below expectations, I would not expect a big, um, I would expect a negative impact on the US dollar, uh, but I wouldn't really um, expect too much of a, a positive impact on US dollar if it comes in positive. So, all right, so let's take a look at the charts here now. All right, we'll start off with our euro dollar as usual. We see that price held above the support level here and price is back into our resistance level. Now it is into the top of the range here, but it is pressuring the high, which means we could see, uh, we could see this one um, go through it. So keep that in mind. So this is bullish here. Uh, and uh, keep in mind that there is resistance, but once we see the price go to the other side of it, next target is 1.1380, and then above that, we're looking at 1.1400. So bias here is bullish, and only, only concern here would be the top of the resistance. Uh, today, price has held below it, and if it still holds below it, then we could see a drop. For now though, this is looking bullish here. Uh, euro dollar pound dollar here pound actually went through that resistance level that we had talked about yesterday it went through this so this is looking bullish and now bias is bullish we may see a pullback into 1.2580 and then looking for a further move to the upside here uh, first target is 1.2650 and then 1.2680 so bullish bias here for pound dollar. So look out for a bit of a pullback and then a further move to the upside. Aussie dollar here, this is looking bullish as well. It's sitting right into that resistance that we had talked about. But at this point, US dollar not looking that great. Everything is essentially bullish against the US dollar. So bias here is bullish. 
um, it, there is pressure right into the resistance here. So we are likely to see a break. Once we see that, next target would be to the upside. We're looking at 0 0.7020 as the first target and then 0 0.7060, which is basically the high here as the second target. So bias is uh, bullish here for Aussie dollar as well. New Zealand dollar, this one as well, right into that resistance level. It hasn't broken the resistance, but it's fairly close. So we're likely to see a further move to the upside here as well. So bullish bias here, next target is 0 0.6600. And then above that, we're looking at 0 0.6620. So bias is bullish here for our New Zealand dollar as well. Dollar cat here, this one is looking bearish. We have a bearish engulfing candle close. Uh, again, prices into support, but looking bearish here. Next target here is 1.3430, and then below that, 1.3400. So uh, bias here is bearish for dollar cad. Euro pound here, we see that price is still holding below our support resistance level here. It had broken through that support yesterday, and today it held below that support. So bias here is neutral to bearish here. So if it holds below 0 0.900, then bias still remains to the downside. Next target here is 0 0.8935. So neutral to bearish bias here for Euro pound. Euro Swiss franc here, this one hasn't really done a whole lot. It did try to break through the support level. It sat um, here for a while and it has failed to break through the support level. Now it's because it's holding above here, we are likely to see a further move to the upside for Euro here. So in terms of our targets, first target we're looking at is 1.0650 and then 1.067, uh, 1.0665. So bullish bias here for Euro Swiss franc. Pound Swiss franc here, this one's looking bullish as well. Uh, price is into resistance, so uh, keep an eye on that. Um, for now, it hasn't broken the resistance, but it does look like we may see a break here. Next target here is 1.1930. And should it get through, we're looking at 1.1975. So bias here is bullish for pound Swiss franc. Dollar Swiss franc here, this one is looking bearish. Uh, US dollar has been weak, like I said. And with this one here, bias is bearish. I will look for a bit of a pullback into 0 0.9400. And then looking for a further drop here, 0 0.9320 is the target. So bias here is bearish for our dollar Swiss franc as well. So a bit of a pullback and then a drop. That's what I'm looking for. Pound yen here, this one also looking bullish. We see that price is into resistance here. It hasn't managed to break through this resistance, but it does look like it's likely to. We did see that pullback and now it's right into the resistance. So bias here is bullish. Um, next target. Next target is 135.75. And then above that, we're looking at 136.35. So bullish bias here for pound yen. Looks like we're likely to see a continuation here to the upside. Euro yen here, this one's also looking bullish. We see that price wasn't able to break through the support level here. There was some solid support here like we talked about. Uh, so this one um, holding above, bias is bullish here. I will look for a move back into the highs here, 121 point. So towards 122 approximately, so bullish bias. And then should it get through that, we're looking at 122 point. Uh, 122.20, so bullish bias for Euro-Yen as well.